So Yamanaka, uh, Shinya Yamanaka is now world famous for his experiment looking for transcription factors mainly that are turned on during embryogenesis. And he and his team looked at many different combinations and hit upon a combination of four factors, which are, of course, now known as uh, Yamanaka factors. Um, and they're, they're called OC4, SOX2, KLF4, and CMIC. Uh, CMIC is an Im important one to point out because it's also a, a potent oncogene, which is dangerous. And, and that's the main reason that Dr. Yamanaka confessed to me that I think it was, it was sensible to put his genes in an adult. But as you'll see, it, it, it actually might, might work. Um, so what he did was ask the question, can you do the cloning experiment um, but in the dish, can you get an adult cell to be age zero again? And if you can do that, you would have a pluripotent stem cell that could be turned into other tissues. So cloning in the dish, and it, and it worked. He was able to create for many different cell types, including skin, these stem cells that we now use to generate little mini brains called uh, cerebral organoids uh, and new tissues and inject these also back into to patients. So he won the Nobel Prize with John Gordon, who did the tadpole nuclear cloning experiment. Uh, in 2016, they won the Nobel Prize. Now, uh, a few labs took that finding uh, from Yamanaka and asked the question, what would happen if you did something like that, not in the dish, but in a tissue or a cell from an animal and put it back into the animal? What would happen? And that was a big risk, right? Because you could easily end up with a cancer, a teratoma, basically cells growing out of growing like an embryo, but in the animal, uh, which does happen actually, if you turn on all of the Yamanaka factors, but uh, we, we tried it anyway. Uh, so that there are two states that we we're finding. If you go all the way back to uh, what Yamanaka did, then you're losing the cell's identity. There's, a, there's an intermediate step that we're using where cells get to a younger state, but they stop. We're interested in aging in every tissue. The eye was a good model system to start with. The virus, the AAV, the domesticated virus that is used in gene therapy was pioneered in the eye. So we thought that was a good place to start. Um, and also young nerves, very young nerves in neonates still regenerate, but you know, young kids don't. So we thought, well, let's see if we could do that. But often I'm asked the question, and it, it's an important one, did we choose the eye because it had a better chance of working? And the answer is no, we could have tried to regenerate the liver, the skin, even the brain. Um, and we only chose the eye, not only, but, but one of the reasons actually is that the student in the lab who did the work mainly, uh, Yuan Cheng Lu, his family has an interest in the eye and has a, a company that is trying to use stem cells to re reverse vision loss. And so he had that passion. I said, okay, go for it. I think the liver would be better. But I'm glad he did that because it, it's a very clear reading when you see the optic nerve grow back. Um, but that was, the, that was the first experiment. We went on to uh, treat glaucoma and even old age uh, vision loss. This is the, the traumatized optic nerve uh, that was pinched. And there's a, an orange dye that you can see that when the nerves are dying back unhealthy, those nerves don't take up the dye. And uh, so the untreated eye will, it will lose its vision, similar to the breaking of a spinal cord. What we did in the other mouse was to turn on the three Yamanaka genes, O, S, and K, for three weeks and have a look what happened. And remember, David, this is after the damage had occurred. We weren't prepping the cells. And what we found, uh, and this was a, a remarkable day, uh, my student texted me the, the result. Uh, you could see that the nerves were growing back towards the brain. In fact, if we leave them for 16 weeks, many of those nerves actually make it all the way back to where they meet the brain again, the chiasm, which is a, is a first. This hasn't been done before. There's very little you can do for damaged nerves. But then we looked at the age of those cells, and two interesting things came out. One was that the damage accelerated aging, according to the Horvath clock, yes. which we didn't expect. I mean, who knew that damage would accelerate aging? But it does. And then the reprogramming factors uh, delayed and reversed that age so that they, they became young and could grow back again.